Hello students, welcome back. In this section, you will be introduced to the concept of information repackaging. This section introduces students to the concept of information repackaging and the need for information repackaging. It further exposes students to the various forms of information repackaging and the challenges associated with the information repackaging process. The key topics to be covered in this session are as follows. Topic one, definition, importance, and reasons for information repackaging. Topic two, requirements for information repackaging. Types of information repackaging. Then the last one, characteristics of a good repackaging and its barriers. Information repackaging means to repackage again or anew in a more attractive format to be effective in meeting the information needs of library users. In other words, information repackaging refers to the presentation of information in more understandable, readable, acceptable, and usable form. The aim of information repackaging. The aim of repackaging is to enhance the acceptance and use of information products and the assimilation and recall of their contents. It is important to repackage information because of overabundance of information. Information should be in its appropriate format. Information as a source of power, the concept of participation, and the concept of sustainability. What do we mean by overabundance of information? We have a lot of information, and it is difficult for the information user to sift through all the information to come up with the relevant ones, hence information repackaging. Information should be in the appropriate format in the sense that it entails the processing and transferring information into format that are acceptable, understandable, and usable. When we repackage inf information, it's approximately communicated the right information to the receiver. And in this sense, it empowers the receiver. When the appropriate information is available and it is properly communicated to the user, the user is now empowered to fully participate in the information transfer process. Benefits of information repackaging. It adds value to the original information in the sense that when we repackage information, it adds value. The coverage becomes wide. For example, if a piece of information is in the English language and it is repackaged for the military society, into a language that they understand. It makes the coverage wide. In effect, the 10% or the 20% of people who understand the information in the original document, the other section will be added to it and will make the information coverage wide. It also aids in meeting highly specific information needs. Information is repackaged for a specific group of people. So in effect, when this is done, it makes sure that it meets the specific needs of such people. It also eases the difficulty associated with using a particular information and in fact creates self-sufficiency and less dependency. Requirements for information repackaging. When you are packaging information, these are some of the requirements. You have to make the people aware. Then after making them aware, you need to identify their information needs and then make sure the information is in appropriate format. You also have to get a repackaging skills. If it means you should outsource from other organizations, then you should create building policies. Why should we make them aware? You should involve those who are going to use the information. So that when you do the repackaging, when you involve them, you know their information needs. Thereby, whatever you repackage for them, they will use it. And we are saying that when you are repackaging, you need, if you need skills, you need experts to help you in doing the repackaging, please go for it. When it's about sketching or it's about graphical design, 
Don't try to do it yourself. Ask for expert advice. Topic three is the types of information repackaging. We have so many types, but I've categorized them under these two main categories, advanced users, semi-literate, and illiterate users. How do we repackage information for advanced users? It can be in the form of abstracts, indexes, bibliographics, abstracting bulletins, translation services, SDIs, assessing information from databases. You try to abstract the original document. How do you do that? Abstracts are brief representation of the original information. And when a user picks the abstract, upon reading the abstract, the user can make decisions whether to use that particular information or not. Indexes direct users to a specific information. When you do that, you minimize the workload of the user by going through all the indexes uh, access points to information resources. What we are saying here is that when you index the information, you save the user's time from browsing through all the original documents before coming out with what he or she wants. We also have the SDIs, Selective Dissertation Information, where you select, knowing your information needs of your users, you select whatever they need and then you give it to them to satisfy their information needs. For semi-literate and illiterate users, repackage may be in one or more of the following. Oral translation, film, video, and tape recording, posters, drama, stories, songs, etc. How do we do this? Most often, when it comes to sanitation, health, family planning, most of the information are repackaged for this literate or semi-literate users. For non-literate and semi-literate, repackaging may take one of the following or a combination of the following forms. It may be oral translation, it may be films, videos, and tape recording, it may be posters, it may be stories, or even in songs. Sometimes we convey messages to this set of people through songs, or through videos, or through posters. Some of the information that are repackaged through these forms are health information, family planning information, sanitation, etc. What are the characteristics of a good repackaging? The goodness of a repackaged information can be assessed using the following consideration. We have to look at the medium, the format, its relevance to users, timeliness. It involves time of assessing and time, time of reproducing, Underst understandability, output quality, acceptability, usability. If the repackaged information is of good quality, then people will use it. If it's of relevance to users, they will make use of it. If it's acceptance, in the terms of cultural acceptance or legal acceptance, then it is termed a good information repackage. The volume of information available makes decision on which information package is difficult. Although information repackage is very, very important and necessary, it has own, its own limitations. One of them is the wide range of various languages in Africa. Sometimes, the language that you try to repackage the information into, if care is not taken, the specific people or the users may not understand whatever you want to repackage. What I want to say is this. Sometimes some of the words that we want to repackage, they, the users themselves, do not understand those words in the local language. So for instance, if you are repackaging something on oil and gas, the way you explain it is the local language, the local people may not even understand. All that they know is oil and gas. So in effect, although you repackage in their language, you still maintain the oil and gas. There also, there's another difficulty in the sense that the terms that we use in, repack in repackaging, some of the terms do not have the equivalent in the local languages, especially when you are repackaging in local languages. What term are you going to use for fridge? Fridge is fridge. Cardiovascular is cardiovascular. These are some of the limitations to effective repackaging. The last one is finance. Sometimes you need to repackage, but you don't have the means or the finance to redo the repackaging. These are some of the limitations 
to effective information repackaging. In summary, we have covered the following topics. Definition, importance and reason for information repackaging, requirements for information repackaging, types of information repackaging, characteristics of a good information repackaging. And I hope from today, in your information class, some of you try to repackage the piece of information that you have to see whether you'll be an effective information provider. Identify some barriers to information repackaging in Ghana and discuss the future of information repackaging in building Ghana's economy.